Hey gang, glad to see you guys again. Today is going to be a really quick video tutorial. I will be teaching you how to achieve the demon eyes effect that you can add to your photos. This is how it will look like once we have finished. I will show you exactly how to do it. First pause the video and go and download the exercise files. I have included the link to the files in the description of this video so you can follow along with what I do. Or you can use your own images if you would like. For those following along with the exercise files, go into the exercise folder and inside you will find the phase 1 folder. Go in and you will find the image we will be using for this tutorial. Right click, hover over open with, and open with your version of Photoshop. Great! Now the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our background layer and turn off the original background layer. Now we're going to solo our foreground. To speed up this tutorial, I have included in the exercise folder, in the phase 2 folder, the image already soloed out. Next, we're going to add a Curves Adjustment layer. Now link the image and the adjustment layer by holding the Option or Alt on a Windows on the line in between the two layers. Go and enter these settings as best as you can for the Curves Adjustment layer, for the RGB channel, the red channel, and the green channel. Now we're going to move on to the eyes part of the tutorial. So let's zoom in on the eyes. Create an empty layer by using the Command or Control Shift and Keys. That should give you an empty layer and name it Black Eyes. For now, we're going to leave that alone. Select the Soloed Out Angry Man layer and by going over to the Tools palette, select the Quick Selection tool. Using the Quick Selection tool, I'm going to select the white and the iris of the eye. I'm going to repeat the same process on the left eye. Now in your foreground color, make sure you have a dark gray and not a black as you select the color. I used 616161. Select the black eyes layer and fill the selection with the dark gray color by using the Option or Alt Delete keys. Let's make a folder by hitting the Command or Control G keys and name it Eyes. Place the black eyes layer inside that folder. Next, create another empty layer and name it Highlight. Put it in the eyes folder on top of the black eyes layer. We're going to use this layer to add in the highlights to make the eyes look more realistic. I'm going to turn out the black eyes layer for now. Then I'm going to select my brush tool by using the B key and select a round brush with a hardness of 80%. Then I'm going to size the brush to the same size of this highlight on the man's right eye. Then I'm just going to click and paint in the highlight. Then I'll be doing the same for the rest of the highlights. Next, shape the highlight into a square or diamond shape by erasing with the eraser tool. The same process will be for the left eye. Looking good so far, but now we need a background. In the exercise file in the assets folder, I have included a background image that we will be using for this tutorial, or again, you can use your own. So let's place it in by going to the file menu and clicking on place. Go to wherever you saved your folder. I have mine on my desktop. Double click, go in the assets folder, select the scary background HD file and click on place. We're going to enlarge the image so it looks proportionate to the angry man and place it on a part that you like. Now we have to color correct the image as best as we can to the background. Down below, let's choose the exposure adjustment layer. Click it to the curves adjustment layer, just how I showed you earlier. Now enter these settings. Exposure at minus 0.62, offset at 0 and gamma at 0 0.84. Now let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Enter these values. Hue at 10 saturation at minus 46, and lightness at zero. There you have it guys, demon eyes effect, right in Photoshop. Now you can go and demonize your own photos just in time for Halloween, or any other time of the year. I had lots of fun creating this effect and I hope you had fun spending time with me. I will be starting a new series called the Mastering Web Design, so subscribe so you don't miss out. Go. Now, go. I'll wait. Go on. Just kidding. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Question of the day, what do you plan to do for Halloween and what costume? 
This was Ricardo, and until next time.